The Bay Area's rock station, 1077 The Bone. Distance wireless to anyone in the country. That's almost a third the cost of the other guys. So you can finally afford to get rid of your home phone and make all your calls on one phone. Your Metro PCS phone. Plus, you never sign a contract. Call 888 metro 8 or visit MetroPCS.com. The leader in unlimited. Long distance only on the US tax and fees not included. Get a free Bluetooth wireless headset when you purchase any Motorola phone and sign up for Metro PCS. Yes, I did, because it's the right of five to drive sales event where you can choose any one of five fun to drive Mazdas and get a great low lease. 1077 The Bone, hello. Hey, Lee Man, how's it going? Good. I got a question for Joe Satriani. He's right here. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Very good, how are you? Great. Um... Have you ever thought about collaborating with, like, Santana or any other like, guitars like that? Yeah, do you know his number? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Sounds like a good idea, though. No, I've met Carlos yeah. a few times. Uh, great musician. And, uh, yeah. Well, well, when you get his number, let me know. We'll call him. Okay, for sure. Thanks. Guy, I've seen him in concert, and he's a great performer. Absolutely. Yeah, one of the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. 1077 The Bone, hello. Hello, this is, uh, this is Mark. I had something I wanted to say to uh, Mr. Satriani. Please, he's right here. Okay, hey, Joe, a couple years ago, uh, you and Steve Lucas are, were uh, judging the Guitar Hero competition at the Great American Music Hall. That's right. Uh, you were both kind enough to sign a jacket for my wife, uh, who is terminally ill, and I just wanted to personally thank you for that. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, you can't imagine how much that meant to her. Well, that's really great. And how's she doing now? Um, she has uh, good days and bad days, more good ones than bad ones, but uh, we're both planning on going into the city on the night and see if we can't get in to see you then, too. Well, I hope to see you. That'd be nice. All right. Well, I just wanted to thank you personally. Hey, thanks. we got to go. we got to talk. I appreciate the call. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks. Um, you take this off, there are three springs, and you just tighten them, bring them in, that's all. It takes balance. We have to do it like every two days on tour. All right, we're back with Joe Satriani, a special edition of Hey Mom, I'm on the Bone. We're going to listen to a track from Joe's latest album, Professor Satchafunculus and the Musterian. Now, Musterian, that's a weird spelling. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Musterian of rock. Yeah, well, that word, man, I, I could talk for an hour did about that Did you invent that word? I did not, no, <laughs> no. I, but I did find it on the Internet, right? So that's close, right? What's it mean? Well, it's, it, it was, it's an old Greek word, and I used a, a, a Greek spelling spelling that's accepted right so it's not like I really made it up right so but it it was uh, a word that was used by the Greeks 2,000 years ago to cast dispersion on false prophets and their wacky doctrines you know about who was the creator and all that kind of stuff and uh, you know I wrote this song uh, really and it was called it's a mystery and then I I broke it down to mystery and then I thought it's got to be more than mystery and I started looking up the word mystery and I found Mysterion and I found the story about how uh, the Apostle St. Paul travels to Greece and he finds this word and he decides to use it but he flips the meeting. He gives it a good connotation saying, I know my stories are weird but you don't understand them because you don't have the mysterion and once you're touched by the divine then all these stories make sense and you will find salvation. And I thought, wow, he just took a word that meant something bad and he used it for his own purposes. And I thought that's sort of like my predicament where if my fans are initiated into my style of music and they get it, but for someone who doesn't, it's sort of like they need to get the Mysterion in order to understand the Satriani music. So. You know what? It's a <laughs> good thing you're not overthinking this whole thing, Joe. <laughs> 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 All right. Overdrive, track two on your brand new album. Yeah, Overdriver. This is now Overdriver. The, Overdriver. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is not as heavy as uh, Mysterion, the whole story. Uh, when my brother John and I were young kids, we used to uh, use colored pencils and stuff and draw these funny cars with, you know, strange looking monsters with blood dripping from their fangs and all sorts of stuff. And uh, we used to have a good time. And, and I came across some of those old drawings recently. So I really wrote a song just based on looking at those characters. And, and uh, so it's, it's just a song that's got a, just a nasty overdriven sound all over it. 
Well, the CD comes out on April 1st, but you're going to get to hear it first, a worldwide listening audience at 1077thebone.com. Here's Overdriver, Joe Satriani on The Bone. 1077 The Bone. Streaming online at 1077thebone.com.